Okay, so here we have one problem, all right? We want all of these titles to appear at the top only, all right? So this is being caused by the number of columns we passed in here. So let's try to fix this real quick. So what we are going to do is, let's go down here, and instead of printing the call titles, let's print the length. All right, so control S to save. Let's run it one more time. Close this, go back down here, and yep, we get seven. So what we are going to do with this is instead of printing this, we are going to say columns. All right, we are actually going to say self the columns is equal to that. So now we can say before we present our data, we can say self dot we didn't give this an ID, I know. Yep, we didn't. So let's give this an ID. An ID like that. And the ID is going to be table floor layout. All right. Control S to save. Go down here. So self dot IDs dot table floor layout dot calls is equal to self self did columns all right so now let's try this again and show sure enough everything now looks great okay so now we can close this and stop printing this and now let's add the rest of the data all right so up here let's say for and what we are going to do is use this, all right? So for R in range, and the range is this, so rows length. And what we are going to do is with that, we are also going to say for T in calls titles, all right? And now let's say table data to append, and we want to append our underscore stocks. Actually, let's say the string of underscore stocks, and for stocks, we want to get the T, which is the title, and also the row. All right, so with that said, control S to save this. Let's try it down here and says underscore stocks is not defined. What did we call this? We called it products. Whoops. So back here, products, control S to save, run this. And it says there's no attribute get. All right. So it turns out, let's see. Yep, we are passing in the wrong data here. So make this a dictionary, all right? And remember we said we need to pass in the text, right? And the text is supposed to be the string of this. Control S to save this now. Let's run it again. And this time it works. So this is product and if you want to view more, so a user already asked this. So if you want to view more now, you can simply scroll. All right. And now this is working great. Let's try to fix the sizing of this. Okay. So to fix this, we are simply going to add another value inside our dict here. So comma and the size hint y. Make this a string. All right. And the size hint y is going to be none. And the size actually supposed to be the height. And the height is going to be, let's go with 30. Okay. 30 should do. Now let's copy what we just added here. Let's also make sure our headers get this. So control V here. And for headers, I'd say 50 should work. Control S to save. 
and run this now and we get all of our information all right but it's a little crowded okay so that is what we're going to fix in the next one for this one though let's create a better label all right so go back and down here let's say let's create a new class call it cost call it cost label for custom label which inherits from the label class all right and we are simply going to say canvas dot before and canvas dot before we are going to get the color and the rgba format of this is going to be root dot b color and this property we need to define up here so let's call this b color and by default let's set it to white all right great now we can say rectangle and the size is equal to self dot size the position is equal to self the position all right great so now we are all set let's change this from label to cast label control s to save let's go down and here for our table let's set that b color all right so the b color is going to be the two color that we are using so point or six point 0.06 and then 0.45, 0.45, 1, all right? And for this, okay, the data, comma again, and B color is going to be, um, let's go with point, let's go with point 0.06, all right? And then 0 0.25, 0 0.25, and 1. And of course make this a string and that a string control s to save run this now invalid syntax and that is because of the equal signs so get rid of the equal signs control s to save and run it now wow okay so everything is all set all we need to do now is change the sizing otherwise this is great so we are going to stop here for this one questions comments down below otherwise i will catch you in the next one